Hi everyone. Okay, so just to be good and dang safe, I called the EPA and went over the steps that I took in the room when I painted and the asbestos ceiling started coming off and how I scraped it and what I'm doing to keep uh, everything contained and I'm scrubbing twice after the first scrub, so I guess three times. Uh, everything I've done is good. And they said that uh, the kind of asbestos on the ceiling that I have, it's been tested, um, is the safer asbestos if there is such a thing. Not, to, And he said not to make you relax and start, you know, not protecting yourself and everything and removing all the rest, but... The steps you took and the things you did are all the right things. So uh, you're going to have no problem with that situation that you found yourself in. Because, look, I would rather be safe. And if that means having, you know, the EPA coming out to my house and boarding it up and kicking us all out and saying it's unsafe, you know, and, you know, ruining my home's chances of ever being sold. Well, so be it, because that's my granddaughter going in that room. And, you know, if it were my dog going in there, you know, I'd still you'd probably make the call. But this is my grandmother, my grandmother, my granddaughter we're talking about the future mother of my great-grandchildren, the one that's carrying, you know, on our family. But even if she can't have a child, you know, I love her so much that nothing matters to me but her health. So, um, I feel good. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, getting it all clean. I still have to go buy some rags that I'm going to throw away. And uh, I have to throw away my mop head that I used yesterday. And um, when I go in there, I'm wearing another hazmat suit and another respirator. And, uh, you know, nothing that goes in there that can't be hosed off like the ladder. Things like that will go to the trash. So, like I said, you know, you don't want to contaminate your home and your family, you know, doing DIY. And, you know, I didn't expect to do this today or yesterday. I did not expect to have this issue because I didn't do enough research. I did not know that when you put latex paint on the ceiling, and if you put too much like I did, that you run a risk of your stupid asbestos ceiling coming off. So that really freaked me out, you know. Um, as far as I'm concerned, getting contaminated, that's fine. I'm dying anyway. But my family isn't and neither are any of the future people of this house i mean i was so protective that even though i got robbed yesterday that or two days ago my my son's truck got robbed i didn't get robbed my son's truck got robbed um i didn't want that ladder staying out there you know f to be stolen by the prowler to get contaminated with asbestos that's how much i care about life I know that the Prowler doesn't give a rip about putting somebody out of a job because he's put, or she or they, have put several people out of a job here robbing t business trucks, you know, of all their tools. Uh, a lot of these people are self-employed and they're out of business until if, hopefully, they were insured and if they have the money for the deductible, if they file a claim. You know, we're all trying to get on from COVID and these prowlers, they're all sociopaths. They don't care. They don't care. But, you know, um, I have a responsibility 
and I'm not going to, you know, what if those people have children and they drag the ladder into the house or something, you know, to safe keep until they can send it to the pawn shop, you know, then those children are contaminated. So what if it's a newborn? It doesn't take much to, you know, give a newborn something horrible. So, you know, that was my thinking anyway. What if they had a pet, you know, and the pet gets around it? So anyway, I just wanted you guys to know the good news. <laughs>